the world of longboarding, we all share a common dream. The dream of standing tall on the nose, feeling weightless and riding the wave with elegance and style. Nose riding is the epitome of longboarding and the summit we all strive to conquer. But for many of us, even those of us who have been riding the waves for years, this dream often feels elusive, where we can have tried countless times in countless ways, but still that magical feeling of effortlessly cross-stepping to the nose and hanging 10 eludes us. In today's video, we're going to provide you with a solution that's made a massive impact for myself and many of the longboarders I coach to get you to the nose, stopping your nose diving, and in doing so, dramatically increase your confidence to take those steps forwards. And if you are new here, my name's Ben Considine, and I'm a longboard enthusiast, a competitor on the 2023 World Longboard Tour, and a coach. And I'm here to share my learnings and experiences like this one today with you all. So if you do find the video useful, you find it valuable, then please feel free to subscribe. And if you know of anyone else who might find it valuable as well, then feel free to share it with them. But let's get straight into the edit. So the first thing I wanted to say is that many seasoned longboarders have been struggling with this exact issue and you're not alone. Despite years of experience, the art of nose riding can sometimes feel like an unattainable mirage. I've had people I've coached tell me they've watched tutorials, read books and even sought advice from well-established longboarders, but every time they attempt a cross step to the nose, they end up nose diving. This can be extremely frustrating, making it feel like an unachievable aspiration. This story isn't unique though. Many of us have been here caught in a relentless cycle of excitement and disappointment, wondering if we'll ever unlock the secret to nose riding. Now, let's dive into the heart of the matter, how to set ourselves up properly for nose riding success and avoiding our dreaded nose dives. So the first step will be starting from the tail. Quite often when we start to learn to cross step, we begin in no man's land, which is going to be halfway between the middle third and the back third. The problem with this is when we go to learn to cross step and we commit the first two steps forwards, quite often we can be too far up the board and at a risk of nose diving. So preferably what we can do to fix this is start off at the tail so that our first two steps come and land in the middle or just past the center of the board so we're nice, stable and secure. Here, you have optimal balance and control and nose diving is less likely. However, there is a common pitfall. As you've brought your weight from the tail to the middle, the board starts to change its angle from ascending the wave to descending, setting the stage for our nose diving. That is, unless we know how to steer and optimize our line from the midpoint of the board, to result in a perfectly stable platform to finish our cross-stepping to the nose. Now let's move into the second step for the day and this is the real purpose of the video and where all the magic happens. This is where we actually set the board up properly not only to avoid our nose diving but to provide a rock solid platform to cross-step along. Have you ever had those moments when cross-stepping felt easy and in control? Most of us have and it's proof that you can do it and chances are it was when the board and the wave were perfectly locked in together to allow for that stable base for you to easily do your thing and cross step forwards. Now let's learn how to reliably reproduce those stable conditions whilst cross stepping to the nose. The secret is utilizing the inside rail to adjust your positioning on the wave, but not from the tail. We often see longboarders maneuvering their boards solely from the tail. The trouble here is, when we do this, we slow ourselves down significantly, meaning we're not tracking along the wave at the wave's speed, which can be a problem once we head to the nose. On top of this, if we don't know how to adjust the board's line once we step off the tail, we'll be unable to make the necessary adjustments such as when the board is pointing down towards the bottom of the wave, and this is where nose diving becomes a risk. So here is the game-changing drill. What we're going to do, just like we said before, we're going to start at the tail and commit our first two cross steps to the middle of the board. Now, what we want to do now is we actually want to stay in the middle of the board and learn to navigate and negotiate our position on the wave from this position. So, following the first two steps forwards, we either want to place a little bit of weight onto the toe side rail if we're on our forehand, or onto the heel side rail if we're on our backhand to drive ourselves up the face of the wave and staying around that midway point of the wave and avoiding the bottom of the wave where we can nosedive. 
We want to keep applying pressure and then easing off to try and maintain this position for as long as possible. So again, two steps from the tail to the middle and then filtering pressure onto that inside rail to keep in the top half of the wave and avoid the bottom third. This is your goal, avoiding that bottom third with the inside rail, making it your wave mantra until it feels like second nature. Once you've mastered this and maintaining speed on the wave and avoiding the bottom third is easy from the midpoint of the board, we're ready to approach the cross step to the nose. Now, I really want to speak about the benefits of using this approach because it's such a game changer and a mind shift for myself for early days and also the people that I'm coaching as well. But as we hug the inside rail into the wall of the wave, it just stabilizes the board so, so much. And if you remember us speaking about those conditions that may have led to you feeling really, really confident with a cross step to the nose that you've done in the past, this is likely the conditions and the environment that we had set up in this instance. And so by knowing how to do this and to replicate it, we're going to be able to do this more often. We can forget about the wobbly tail of the board and the bottom of the wave. In the midpoint of the board and the midpoint of the wave is where we want to be and it's where we want to stay. So once again, this is a really, really common problem for longboarders and I hope that from this information today, you can utilize this step by step to really, really help yourself to set up the stable and the right conditions for your cross stepping and for your nose riding. So again, it's going to start with starting from the tail and committing those two steps to the middle of the board. And then using that weight on the inside rail drill, where we're actually going to hold our weight and filter our weight on the inside rail, on our toes if we're on our forehand, and our heels if we're on our backhand. And we're going to continue to do that until we feel really, really confident and comfortable being able to hold the midline of the wave and go as fast as we can across the wave by staying in the middle of the board, not having to resort to coming to the tail. And then from here, once we're really comfortable in adjusting the board in this way, this is when we can then just take two more steps towards the nose. The other benefit of this approach is that we can stabilize ourselves in the middle of the board and then we're only two steps away from the nose ride. So instead of having to rush and race to the nose, we can be in the right position to take a lot more of a considered, slow and measured approach. So I hope that's all really, really helpful. Thanks very much for watching the video today, guys. I hope you got a fair bit out of it. Um, I'm in El Salvador at the moment and heading back tomorrow. So I'm really, really excited to, to come back and work on a few things. I really, really appreciate everyone for their support as well. It's been amazing. But we'll leave it there for today and we'll catch you on the next one.